Old people. There's a pretty well-known stereotype that old people just don't understand technology. You know, ask your grandma what task manager is and she'll probably explode, right? Because old people are dumb. <laughs> well, this trope actually extends pretty heavily onto social media, specifically like Instagram and TikTok, the, the more short form side of the internet, right? Have you ever been scrolling and you randomly get something like this? Jesus, okay, I'm sorry, I kind of forgot what image I was gonna use there. But anyways, every once in a while, while I'm laying in bed, you know, doom scrolling, doing whatever, one of these people will show up, kind of like this one. Which, you know, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, if I'm gonna be completely honest. No, for real though, I, I feel kind of conflicted when I see these because they're really funny, but in almost a scary way. Like, some of these are just ones that I screenshotted while recording this video. Not to call these old people scary, but... Actually, okay, that's a lie. I found one that's pretty scary. Her name is Bammy. <laughs> we'll get to her in a little bit. Help me. I've noticed a phenomenon recently where whenever I get one of these videos, it'll either have 5 million likes and everybody's commenting on it going, What's going on, unk? <laughs> Or it'll have like three likes and I'm genuinely concerned how it got on my phone. It's such a weird feeling though, because when the video has five million likes, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it like, whatever, I guess this guy just went pretty viral. But when they have three likes, it feels really personal, if that makes sense. I feel like they're talking directly to me and I don't want to talk to some of these people. <laughs> and I just want to state this video isn't here to make fun of any of these people, right? I love what they're doing and I hope when I'm their age, I can mimic even a fraction of the aura that they exude with their posts. <laughs> this video is honestly more just me reaching out to you guys to ask, do you guys get these too or am I just weird? Because I was talking to one of my friends a few days ago about this video concept and I mentioned, you know, weird old people videos on here and they had no idea what I was talking about. I, I don't know if they were gaslighting me, but when I showed them a video, they kind of stopped responding to what I was saying. So I just, I want to defend myself. I don't like comment or follow any of these accounts except for making this video. They just kind of appear like little gremlins in the night ready to curse me with their images. But anyways, back onto what I was saying, these accounts will either be really small or really really massive L like this one his name is Mike Breen and I absolutely love his account I also wouldn't call him old per se he doesn't he's not like grandpa but he's probably one of the younger ones on the list I just wanted to throw him on here fuck you it's my video okay <laughs> sorry I'm honestly not super sure what his shtick is other than this Viking helmet oh and he does this scream at the camera <laughs> He kind of just hops on and posts whatever. Sometimes he's talking about a song. Sometimes he's screaming at the camera. I don't know. I just love his account. He doesn't get too much interaction or views on the videos. He really is just doing it for the love of the game. And that's kind of why I wanted to look into these people more because, you know, a lot of people, when they get on social media, they want to do this to either make a career out of it, get friends, or just like get famous in a general sense. They're doing it because they want people to look at them. Or a lot of people, when they start taking it more seriously, they'll start researching, you know, how do I get bigger or they'll try to do things things to follow the, the algorithm so they get larger. But these people just don't care. They're just, they're just throwing whatever they want on there. I don't even know if they know that these videos are public. They could just be thinking they're sending this to their daughter and they're not. Now, I am being a little facetious with Mike. He does have one video that went viral and it's this one. <laughs> the tree is on fire. <laughs> So hopefully he's not a pyromaniac, and if he is, for shame on you, Mike. What would Smokey think? Anyways, he just seems like a really nice guy who, like I mentioned earlier, just kind of posts whatever he wants, right? Have you ever seen someone online and they just have this instant likability? Not to say that you would want to hang out with them or like be friends with them every day, but you just kind of see their posts and you're just, you're just rocking with it, right? You're just like, fuck yeah, I like that guy. That's how I feel about this guy. <laughs> also, a little side note, I followed him so I could research him for this video and put him in here. And uh, he followed me back like immediately. So Mike, if you're watching this, thank you. And also, please don't burn down any more trees. Another smaller account that just cranks these videos out is a lady named Turnaround Doctor. She appears to be this sort of self-help guru, uh, specifically business related, but the way she talks about it is, I, I don't, it's kind of hard to describe, so I'm just gonna show you and you'll get what I mean. <laughs> business 101, if you built it wrong, you need to make it right. So if you can't tell, she has a little shtick for her channel as well. Honestly, combing through her videos, she does seem to have decent advice. I'm not a businessman, so I don't really know, but you know, she says things, they... 
sound real. <laughs> it, it doesn't seem like she's trying to be as weird as possible like some of these accounts do, but it just seems like she just has her own personal flair to these videos. And what I've noticed and why I'm bringing her up is there's a trend with these older accounts where they really like to throw just really weird filters on their videos and they don't really... <laughs> mention it in the video. They're just kind of pretending it's not there. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose or if they're just like, ah, oh, people will see the giant fucking squirrel on my face and be like, okay, it's, there's a squirrel. But like, she's got a few of them like that. If you scroll through her page, it's kind of funny. I like it. I actually really like these accounts. She kind of leads me to my next person who gets a little bit more interaction. His name is Brian J. St. Pierre. I hope I'm saying his name right. He kind of just throws whatever he wants up. The reason he relates to Turnaround Doctor is that he really likes using these weird filters. And okay, to be completely honest, he has 7,000 posts. So I couldn't find the video that he went viral for, but he clearly did because he has almost 300,000 followers. Most of his posts, like I mentioned, are just kind of strange filters, like uh, this one. You know, I fuck with it. Who doesn't like the seven dwarves, right? 90% of his posts are like that. Hold on. I think he's trying to riz me here. It's working. No, but seriously, my favorite part of his account is every single post he makes, he gets these like spam bots commenting something on his posts. Like uh, this one, where for some reason he posted a picture of the lead singer of ACDC. I don't know, it's not really important. The two comments are pretty funny. Sometimes people you love cannot see. What is he, blind? I don't, I don't understand what this is supposed to mean. I guess his hat is kind of covering his face here, but this isn't even the guy. This is a drawing of Brian Johnson from ACDC, not Brian J. St. Pierre. That same account also commented, Husband, I just want to tell you that you are the best and sweet. Which, you know, I checked her account, and it's probably not a real person. <laughs> She's definitely not Brian's wife. Let's make that clear. Also, for whatever reason, a decent chunk of his posts are about Dead or Alive 6, which is a fighting game, kind of like Tekken or Mortal Kombat. It's mostly only popular in Japan. I know people here play it, but I've never really seen anything about it outside of Japan, so. I'm just kind of surprised, because fighting games are already pretty niche in itself, and then for him to be playing this one, I, he's, he's not the audience that I expected to be playing this game. I don't know, all in all, I'm kind of rocking with Brian J. St. Pierre. Except for one thing, he does kind of just steal women's videos that I'm assuming he finds attractive and just posts them on his account. There's never a caption or anything like that. He just kind of reposts it. He doesn't tag them or anything. He just kind of puts the video up. Like this lady, he likes to post her a lot. I assume based on that video, she's a popular only... F Did that say $16 million? Guys, I haven't enough... No. <laughs> Ugh. No, I'm not sure who she is because I'm not a gooner, but... He posts her a lot. Almost every time he also adds Highway to Hell on top of it, which just makes it so much funnier in my opinion. But a quick heart to heart, Brian. Keep posting your filter videos and maybe chill out on stealing the OnlyFans girls videos and they're not gonna see you reposting their video and go, damn, I didn't know Brian would chill like that. <laughs> now the account that absolutely breaks this stereotype, and I'm sure most people here have at least seen something from them, is this channel called Retirement House. It's this group of like six elderly people. They're really sweet. They seem pretty wholesome. They just kind of do TikToks or whatever they want, but they are absolutely crushing it. They have some crazy viral videos like this one. What is that, 30 million views? And they really just seem to have this whole social media thing locked down. They seem to have gotten past the old people wall of not understanding latest trends. To be fair, they probably have a manager or someone telling them what to do. But you know, they had to get big somehow. Side note, I also saw this comment on that video, so hippie, I just wanna say fuck you. I'm sorry, I got a little heated there. I, I, I'm sorry. This is absolutely the peak of old people on the internet. They just seem so happy and they could just do whatever they want, right? They're just posting random videos of them dancing together. Like, it's kind of sweet. Also, from what I could tell, they all live together. I mean, obviously I can't prove it because I don't live with them, but they make videos talking about their new house and they're all showing it together. So I would assume they live together, but I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I wonder if they have beef and power struggles, kind of like other content creator houses, like uh, the Hype House. I wonder if the Hype House is gonna reunite in like 60 years or like the original FaZe Clan house, you know? <laughs> I actually really hope that doesn't happen. There is one other thing that I really quickly wanted to mention. I've only found a few accounts that do this, so I can't really talk about it too much, but I found this weird phenomenon. It's kind of the exact opposite, where it's people my age pretending to be old people. I don't know, they like to use heavy filters to try and make themselves look old and they'll just do like a picture and just put like the craziest fucking caption at the bottom, right? Because they're trying to get like that, whoa, this old guy's crazy fame. My 
My problem with these accounts is they can never quite capture the raw emotion that you feel watching those actual old people making a video. You kind of know it's manufactured because you know it's not a real person and it's just a joke. Some of them are pretty obvious with it, like this guy, Oscar Grams. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, just, it's a filter. It's a filter. They like to do this crazy writing, like I mentioned just a second ago, because people just, it kind of drums up people's reactions. Like, would you guys rather be an honest broccoli or a courageous pizza? Oscar, Oscar, what the fuck does that mean? It's obviously a troll account and that account's doing pretty well, but you get what I mean by it doesn't capture the same energy, right? Cause you know, it was somebody like me sitting down with a filter trying to write, what's the craziest thing I can think of or something that people will get confused about. The problem with these accounts and why I can't really talk about them too much is they're really hard to find because they're just people's names and it's really hard to just at a glance see if there's a filter or not. Like this one, I genuinely am not sure if it's a filter at this point. His name is Sugar Daddy Truck Driver Jin and off the name alone, you'd think it's a filter, right? But the more I stare at him, the more I genuinely can't tell if it is or not. Like this one, okay, ignore the caption. We're just gonna stare at him for the next seven seconds and you're gonna tell me if you think he's a filter or not. Okay, time's up. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna go with it's a filter just based on the captions and there's a few tells, but it's definitely the best one I've seen so far. And I, I mean, I don't know why people do it. I guess money, money and fame, right? I guess that's why anybody does anything on social media. Shut up, don't get too deep with it. But as much as I like these accounts, they're never gonna capture the raw emotion that you feel watching a real old person make a really weird video. I, th I think I've spent enough time avoiding her. <laughs> to be honest, this lady terrifies me. I have only ever seen her super late at night when I'm scrolling. It'll be like my last reel before bed and it's fucking Bammy. <laughs> I, I just can't, I can't get her out of my head. Her account's name is Bammy Trothers, if you haven't gathered that. And uh, you may not know her name, but you've definitely seen one of her videos before, or at least seen her in your nightmares because she is damn good at what she does. I've actually seen this lady floating around since like 2020 or whenever she first started. And it originally seemed like she was just making knock knock jokes with like a kind of weird laugh. But a lot of the comments started telling her how creepy it was. And so she really leaned into this like ARG horror kind of vibe. And I, again, I really don't know if this was her plan all along, but she does it so, well like uh, this one that went viral pretty recently what's the most expensive haircut in the world Aiden. 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 good night Aiden <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Aiden is, but you need to count your days because she's probably right behind you. Her whole vibe is just making these weird knock-knock jokes, right? And then scaring the fuck out of you. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I kind of feel like she has like a son or a niece or something that's there to like tell her that this would be good because this feels like a very specific thing to do. I don't know, all I can say is I hope 30 years from now I can make a video even close to as creepy as her videos. She also sometimes just posts pictures, like this one where she just slowly inches closer to me. Does this say Bammy? Are you single? Why would somebody? Why would somebody comment that? Oh wait, no, she replied. Hold on. Single as a can of a Pringle. Okay, Bammy. Bammy's getting freaky. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna put that in. Oh my God! No, she fell in the back rooms. Oh shit. Somebody's gotta help her. I don't know. She makes so many of these. Like this one is a personal favorite of mine. It's just so uncanny. What did one ocean say to the other ocean? Nothing. They just waved. <laughs> also, does anybody notice that she kind of sounds like tree trunks from Adventure Time? I, is that just me? To my surprise, when I was researching her, I went through her account a little deeper and found she had a YouTube channel and a lot of short form content creators have that kind of YouTube channel on the side where they just repost it on shorts. But she also apparently has little videos every once in a while where she just kind of talks about her life and just about her experiences. I'm not gonna show any of those videos on here out of respect for her. If you wanna see them, you should go watch them yourself. She seems like a really, really sweet lady. Speaking of checking out her socials, I found out she has a Cameo account. If you don't know what Cameo is, it's a site where you can pay somebody money and they will make a video of whatever you want. So I got a Cameo. Okay, so it looks like Bammy's Cameo came in. Bammy's ca- ba You know what I mean. I've been waiting so long for this. I'm actually so excited to watch this video. So I'm gonna play it. Hold on, I've got it pulled up here. Oh no. Okay, I don't like the thumbnail already. Jumbo Josh is awesome, awesome. and cool. cool. I love Jumbo Josh. 
Stingler Flynn is stupid and evil. I'm, I'm coming, coming for, for him. him. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> All of that is what I requested, except for the I know where you sleep part. I don't know what that was about, but I'm kind of scared now. So, Bammy, please, please don't hurt me. Um, oh, sh oh, shit. Um, I'm so after that, I've got to have a long sit with my therapist. Here's my favorite art of the week, my favorite fan art. I got a new room, if you can't tell, I moved, so things are going to be moving around a lot. But, uh, yeah, you know, if you want your art here, send it to me. <laughs> That's it for this video. Bye-bye uh, now.